and we're here with head coach Brian Scheiding for the preview of the 2014 Missouri Southern Outdoor Track and Field season. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, pretty successful uh, indoor season, ranked in the top 10 for most of the season. Uh, last six or seven weeks is row, and, and uh, going to the MIAA's, finished second in the conference, uh, point and a half off of uh, the lead. And then you take uh, quite a few athletes to nationals. Let's talk about your success of the indoor season and uh, some of the bright spots that you saw this past season. Well, we had a tremendous team effort throughout the indoor season, and, and more so than just looking at one or two event groups, the entire team put it together well for us. We're a little thin on numbers of throwers, but the throwers we had did very well. Um, our distance runners stepped up and scored a number of points at the conference meet, uh, which is what we expect they need to do that. Um, and really the sprinters and jumpers did what we expected them to do, but overall it wasn't, you know, we had some very good individual performances, but as a team I think we gelled very well and the support that they showed each other was tremendous. And you saw uh, Jeff Fraley get the high point uh, athlete, he won both the 60 and the 200, uh, made his way to the nationals and um, came up limping a little bit, uh, Gimp in the, uh, the 60, but uh, let's talk about uh, some of the, the performances we had at nationals this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the pole vaulters who took Brady Malusion and uh, Michael Jurgens, they, they had average jumps at the national meet. Um, there really wasn't that much, it was not an outstanding competition in the pole vault for men or the women, but everybody seemed to have fairly average jumps, and luckily for us, our average jumps ended up with two All-Americans. And we've talked about this before, the league, as tough as it is, you know, a lot of times average jumps for this league are, are above average for the rest of the, the country. The top eight people would have all had a chance to score at our yeah. national championships. In fact, there were eight jumpers from our conference at the national meet out of 17. Um, three of them were All-Americans. Um, so luckily yeah, our guys four, had a fourth and eight. No, there were yeah, no, you had a Fort Hayes guy too in there as well. That's right. Fort Hayes had a great jump. That's right. But uh, yeah, it's 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 across the board. You look mm -hmm. at the jumps, you look at the sprints, the top three sprinters in the country in 60 are right out of our conference. Yep. Um, so it is, if you finish well at our conference championship meet, you will do well at the national championship. And, and let's look at, at what we're going to need to do to build upon that success you had this year. Um, you move into the outdoor season and you've got your pole vaulters coming back. You won't will be down Michael Jurgens as he graduates, mm -hmm. but you bring back Brady, you bring back a good talented group of sprinters, throwers, and some distance runners that you, as you said, yes. came on really strong. You brought uh, Eric Schott to Nationals with you as well in the 5K, and mm -hmm. he just barely missed out in the 3K. So uh, let's talk about what you guys will need to do to build upon that success that you had in the indoor season. Well, they just need to keep training at a high level. Um, outdoors does bring a few more distance races and throws uh, events. Luckily for us, uh, our throwers are very good discus throwers. We should do well in the hammer as well. Um, we had a couple of distance events, which we are fairly strong in the distance area with those new events coming in. Uh, we have a couple of steeplechasers that we expect to do very well. And hopefully our sprint relays will um, continue to be successful um, throughout the outdoor season. But jumps wise, we expect to continue to score a lot of points in those areas. We do have some young vaulters um, who did not do very well at the indoor conference meet who will have to just step up and jump well. Let's look at the, uh, the league. Uh, at any given point during the season, we had five teams that were ranked from the MIAA. You had three in the top ten for most of the season. Um, we were one of them. Let's, let's talk about how tough this league is and, um, and what, what you can expect out of the, some of the other teams in the league this year. It's, it's just an incredible conference, and that's, that's why we all love it here. Yeah. That's why we recruit the guys that we get, because they want to compete at the top of their, their events. Um, you can always obviously expect um, Central Missouri to have a good team. Pittsburgh State's going to have a good team. Fort Hayes and Nebraska Kearney had an incredible team indoors. Uh, but it's, it's always a five or six team battle for the top, and usually those five or six teams are also top 15 or top 20 teams at the national meet. So, you have to compete very well, and we often say that our conference championship meet is a national or is a mini national championship. Mm -hmm. We've had hundreds of kids qualify out of our conference championship just for the national championship meet. So they have to do very well, and hopefully we can get them to that point by the conference meet. Well, you we just wrapped up indoor season about two weeks ago, and here we are, first week out of spring break, and you've got your first outdoor meet this weekend at Pittsburgh State. What kind of team are you going to bring? Uh, you know, bring a smaller squad, a full squad to pit, and uh, you know, what can we expect out of this meet? It's difficult to say what, um, how the results will be this weekend, but mm -hmm. we will take a full team. 
Uh, we had to spend a week away from them before spring break because of national championships. So for most of our sprinters, distance runners, and throwers, we have not seen them for two weeks. Hopefully they've done their workouts, which is what we expect. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, um, we will be going from short approach in the jumps. Uh, we'll be over distancing most of our sprinters. So instead of the one and two, they'll do two fours. Um, and uh, hopefully we can have a healthy weekend um, and progress throughout the season. Coach, good luck this weekend and uh, continued success this year. Thank you very much. Head Coach Brian Scheiding in the preview of the 2014 men's outdoor track and field season.